Hi there, this is Matthew from Patchworks, and today we're looking at the Triple VC X Fader by Arcus Audio. The Triple VC X Fader is a cross fading Eurorack module. The VC stands for voltage control, so it's a three channel voltage control cross fader. You have two inputs per channel, which you can cross fade between either with this large knob here in the center or via the CV input here on the left. You also have an attenuverter attached to that so you can adjust how the signal is received into the X Fader. To the right, you also have a knob that controls the linear or exponential response of each one of these channels. The X fader is normalized to the next channel and patching to the output will break that normalization. I'm going to go through a couple of patches that I think will demonstrate how this module works and what you can do with it. Okay, so for this first patch, I'm using the B OSC by Afterlater Audio, which is an analog oscillator. I'm taking a sawtooth and a triangle wave, and I'm patching that into the first channel on the X fader. On channel A of the X fader, or side A of the X fader, it's receiving a sawtooth, and on side B, it is receiving the triangle. You can see here in my zero scope that we are looking at the sawtooth. Now you're listening to it. And now I can crossfade over we've switched over to our triangle, as you can see also in the zero scope. So I could take an LFO if I want, which I have coming out of the mod output on my sequencer here, and I can modulate that. Which is cool. Just bump the pitch on my oscillator. So that's one useful way of using the triple X fader and one of the more obvious ways to use it. Okay, so something a little bit more interesting is taking the pulse wave and patching that into the crossfade input. So this pulse wave is going to crossfade for us. And because the pulse, the saw, and the triangle are all coming from the same oscillator, they share the same phase, so they will work very well together, or perfectly together, in fact. And it will create a new wave shape. As you can see, we no longer have a triangle or a sawtooth. We have a mix of those two. We're doing wave shaping with the tri triple VC X fader. Another cool feature. Okay, let's carry on. So while I have this uh, wave shape patch patched up, I'm going to show you how you can use the triple VC X fader as a regular old triple VCA with a linear or exponential response. So I'm going to take that output of the oscillator. I'm going to patch it back into the X fader into the next channel. And I'm going to turn that channel all the way to the right so that it's not listening to that input. And then I'm going to change the attenuverter all the way to negative. And then I'm going to send it an envelope coming from mod 3 of my sequencer here. And that's going to go into the CV input. And that's sending a standard ADSR envelope. And now we can hear that. So now I have a wave shaping tool and a VCA all in one module. <laughs> There's a nice shape right there. Cool. I love modules that can do things like this. Okay, so now for this next patch, I have two sequences running into two modules, and of course they are tuned to each other, so they sound nice together. And I have the output of those modules running into the triple VC X fader, and so I'm able to crossfade between two different sequences now. If 
I set the response to an exponential response, there'll be more of a dead zone in the center. So it's a lot quieter here. So this is better for distinguishing between those two sequences. So now I can use a modulation source and modulate between these two. If I run that output into a, a reverb, it mixes them together really nicely. Here I'm modulating between the two audio sequences via audio rate using the BOSC. Okay, for this last patch, I'm running two different modulation sources into the VCX fader, one from the BIOSC and LFO mode, and one from my sequencer over here. And then, I'm taking that modulation source and running it into the fold input on my Loquelic Iteratus, which is a complex oscillator. I'm running the audio output from my Loquelic Iteratus back into the triple VCX fader and using the VCX fader as a linear exponential VCA. So let's have a listen to that. So right now we're on the A side of the modulation source, which is the third sequencer's LFO output. And now we're using the modulation source from the BIOS, which is a sawtooth wave. And now in the middle here, I have kind of a mixture of the two. Which makes for a cool sound. And I can also modulate the two of those. So I'll take this triangle wave and modulate between the two modulation sources. Very cool and a lot of fun to do patching with the VCX fader. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demo of the triple VCX fader by Arcus Audio. I'm Matthew from Patchworks and I'll see you next time.